What's up everyone? So today I'm going to be doing a clutch update for the first clutch of the season. Got myself some nice holdbacks, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm also going to be giving you an update on my Dreamsicle stock. So let's get right into it. All right, so let's get started here. So the pairing was a Dreamsicle male to a Enchi Het Pied female. Uh, the pairing was also backed up by a Lavender Het Pied male, but I believe the Dreamsicle got it. I did get a lot of Pieds out of it, and the Hets... Uh, do have great markers, but we won't know for sure, of course. So uh, let's get started with um, V, bottom of the clutch, and work our way up. So this is just a double het, or technically a het lavender, 66% het pied, with excellent markers here. No doubt in my mind, that's also a het pied. Really nice markers. The Enchi as well does also have... Really nice head pie markers. I'll show that to you right here. Not as obvious as the first one I showed you, but nice white belly, black outline there. There was originally two Enchies in this uh, in this clutch, but uh, one of them didn't make it, unfortunately. Just the way she goes. Can't win them all. So these are the two Hets. They're, everything here is Het Lavender, and these two are 66% Het Pied. Both have great markers. Always nice to see. So next on the list, we have a Visual Pied, 100% Het Lavender. Very nice example here of a Pied. It is a high white. Nice little saddle here. Pretty nice looking snake. I love Pieds. Pieds are my favorite, of course. And I was fortunate enough to hit two Enchi Pieds, Het Lavender. So this is the nicest of the two. Very, very obvious. Look at that pattern. Just an incredible looking low white pied. Love what Enchi does in pie ball. It really smooths out the pattern, changes the color palette a little bit, and makes for a really nice low white pied. Now let me grab the other one. It's not as obvious as the first one but it's an Enchi Pied nonetheless. If you look at the head pattern here, see the bands there? That is an Enchi marker, these thick bands here. See, very obvious there, and we have it here as well. And this one's a little bit darker than this one, but uh, also really nice as well. I mean, I'm keeping both of them, so really happy with the two. If we, grab, if we grab the third one, you'll see that this one does not so much have the thick eye band. See, they're a little, little thinner than that one there. I don't know if you can tell if they're upside down. But yeah, you can, you can see it there. And where's the other one? See, thick eye bands on the right, thinner eye bands on the left. So, not Enchi, and these two are Enchi. Pretty sweet. I'm keeping both of these. I'm going to let go of these three over here. Really happy. Couldn't have started the year off better than that. Anyways, let me show you what else I have in the Dream School project. Okay, so these are two girls that I hatched out last year. They're both Het Lavender. This one's a Visual Pied. This one's a Het Pied. So let's start with this one here. So on top of being a Pied Het Lavender, this is a Leopard. Now, leopard can sometimes be hard to ID in pied because sometimes pied can mask uh, certain genes. But what you want to look out for is dots like this. Just because you see a dot doesn't mean that it is a leopard. But in this case, you also have the big, thick, black outline on all these saddles, which is a very obvious uh, leopard tell or marker. So this is a beautiful girl that I am growing up. This was actually my first hole back from last year. Um, well, technically they both are because they're from the same clutch. But let me show you the second one here. So this one, of course, is also a leopard. Uh, there was three leopards in the clutch and this one was by far the nicest one. So you can see, oh, a little hissy there. You can see that this leopard pattern is pretty crazy looking. And I'll tell you why. So, the mom came from 
mutation creation stock, Billy from mutation creation. So there's a new gene floating around there. And the rumor has it that this could possibly be scrambler. So this, in my opinion, is likely to be a leopard scrambler double het for lavender pied or het dreamsicle, if you will. And it was very obvious in comparison to the other leopards that were in the clutch. I'd show them to you, but I've sold them off. So this is all I have left. But this one was way, way different. But yeah, two really nice girls that I'm growing up. And I can't wait to see what they produce in the future. Okay, so this wouldn't be a dreamsicle video without showing you one. So this is my male dreamsicle. So it is a lavender pied. Really beautiful animal. This is one of my favorite animals. Maybe my favorite animal after the lightning pied when I was getting into it. And I was really fortunate to produce one at my first try. This was made two years ago. He's at 2022. 20, he's already breeding, obviously, as you've seen. And uh, he should have an other clutch uh, late summer. So we'll see. But uh, look at that head. You see those uh, lavender purple tones. That's what makes it a little bit different from a regular albino, um, albino pied. Uh, the Dreamsicle just offers just a little bit of a different uh, color palette. But yeah, one of my favorites. Just a beautiful animal. And last but not least, here is the mom to the clutch, beautiful Enchi Het Pied. Love what Enchi does, nice banding, bit of a lighter color, really nice girl. Not sure when I'm gonna breed her to next year, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll try and make some super Enchi combos, but really nice snake. See those Het Pied markers right there. Back on food. Oh, touching the camera. Ooh, a little squirmy. So how about that? Those were some pretty nice pods, eh? I do have a chance to hit some dreamsicles later on in the summer. Uh, it's a, the dreamsicle went to the double head female. I uh, still need a dreamsicle female, so fingers crossed for that. Anyways, if you guys like this sort of snake content, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.